What's going on everybody? Bowman1951 here. Majority of this video is going to be positive and everything, but I have to be real with you. I am completely exhausted. Being a new father has really taken its toll on me and I'm not able to head out to card shops, card shows, and uh, turn this into a sports card adventure channel like I had envisioned. It's really turned into ripping in the man cave kind of deal with the background here. And uh, that's, that's fine and dandy, it's not what I really saw this channel turning into, but it's really all I have time for, uh, going out and grabbing what I can. And there's really great guys in this community like Stove Sports and Filmington who have some awesome products that can just get delivered to my house. Uh, and I'm, I'm able to rip those on camera. So I'm gonna continue doing that for a bit. I, I just don't foresee myself being able to get out and do many things. Uh, in the next few months in terms of going to card shops or anything like that. Uh, I'll, I'll try to stick it in there uh, once in a while, but it's just not going to be as much as I really wanted to uh, take this channel to and, and for the next level. So really appreciate everybody sticking around for um, the rips that I do. I realize I'm just not getting as many views on them as I had hoped, but uh, for now we're going to rip the junk trunk tonight. And I might have a few extra packs at the end uh, to rip as well. So let's get on with it. Thanks for the listening and um, really appreciate everybody sticking around and watching my channel. So without further ado, we're going to get into the joke trunk. Okay, no more sappy crap. Let's get into Stove Sports' junk trunk. This should be a lot of fun. Taking me back to my childhood and all the packs that everybody grew up with. You know, it doesn't have a lot of value, but we do have the one big card to hit, and that would be what's out there in front of you, the 1993 Topps Derek Jeter. Sorry, I just want to get all unpacked here. And once those are done, these look like vintage packs, don't they? But they are not, so this is from the archives release from last week, and these are three hobby packs that I picked up as I had to go and get some... Uh, more card savers from my LCS. So I decided to grab those while I was there to get my card savers and we're gonna include those here in the junk trunk release. So <laughs> I know some of you have seen this before, it just still cracks me up. The following is a suggested tasting order to provide you with the most satisfying journey. It is in no way mandatory. Included with each item are the notable rookie and key cards that we found within. Please do not eat the cards. Right, Pepino? As always, these packs are certified organic, gluten-free, dolphin-safe, and have been hand-curated and vine-ripened by your cardboard sommelier to provide you with the freshest junk wax experience on the market today. We're going to start with an hors d'oeuvre, so let's do the 90 Upper Deck and the 90 Fleer. Let's test my knowledge here and see if I remember exactly what they look like. And that is going to be an aperitif. There's the 90 Fleer. Score... Or I think those are the two. Let's start with. Did I pick the right one? I'm gonna do the 94. I do remember this one. All right. We'll fly through these until we find somebody of note. So McGuire, not a rookie. Tom Glavin, very nice. Hensley Mullins, everybody remembers him, right? Pretty big bust. Dan Pasqua. Quisenberry, side armor. Tahiro Strawberry, very nice. You know what, this is a lot of fun. Like I said, it takes you back. And we're really going back to the root of cards and before all the greed and nonsense that's involved with all the, the grading these days and everybody chasing that next big rookie that's worth five thousand ten thousand dollars out of a pack it's just gotten way out of control so yeah that up other pack was the 90 upper deck here she is a beautiful foil looking for wong gone timmy sosa john olerud and larry waka i put one of those in this pack you can feel it carlton fisk hall of famer Oh, why are these upside down every other card? That is so annoying. There's the infamous sticker and Jack Morris Hall of Famer. Oh, is it an auto? It's backwards. No, it's just Eric Show. There's the hologram sticker. Woo! 
I don't think I was even excited for those hol holograms when I was a kid. I really wanted the cards. Bo Jackson! Love that action shot there. I'm not going to hit any of those key rookies. There's a rookie. He looks like he was about 30 when he took this picture. Wait a minute. Did I just get another Carlton Fisk? Oh, look at that. Crazy, right? Duplicates in the same pack. So, yeah, 91 score. Looking for the Chipper Jones and the Mickey Mantle autograph. What is that? One in every five million packs? We'll stop at the Hall of Famers and the people of notes. Andre Dawson, Hall of Famer. Cindy Elmar. Nice. It's another bow card. I like this one. The bow breaker. Pretty fun to have graded. There's a Barry Bonds MVP. Bernard Gilkey didn't do very well. This guy definitely didn't do well. I like the insert rookies in the middle of the pack. Another fun insert that you didn't even care about when you were like eight years old. That's going to be it for that one. Jose Gonzalez. Let's get that Dunners pack back out here while we pop in some 91 upper deck. We are still, well, we're actually in the entrees now. Looking for Chipper, Mike Messina, the Michael Jordan short print, and potentially another auto. Laugh out loud, as the sheet says. Carlton Fisk. He's been hot in these packs, huh? Oh, another bust from the Yankees. This is the years they weren't very good. There's a Nolan Ryan. Nice card, nice pull. Charlie Hayes. Albert Bell. Just gonna be it for that pack. We got the other hologram. I think I'm most excited out of the 90 score for the Bo Jackson Shoulder Pads card. These packs always felt so cheap to me compared to the others. That's why I couldn't stand score. And this is one of the ugliest designs in existence. Brady Anderson. Whatever happened to him? Did he get caught up in the scandal of steroids? I can't remember. There's a bow. Let's take a look at the back of this one. This one was one of the Dream Team inserts. Nice card. Oil can Boyd. Freddie Lynn. One of the packs when they had 15 cards in them, too. It's going to do it for this one. I think we're going to get into the fourth main course here of... 89 Dunnus, Griffey Jr., Randy Johnson, BGO, Smoltz, Sheffield, and Schilling. Another Freddie Lynn. Give me a shout out for the Griff. That's what I'm looking for. That is not the Schilling. Ooh, rough pack here. Let's get on to something else. 89 Tops is going to have pretty much all those same rookies as the last pack, except for Schilling. And Matt Williams on the back. Neil Allen. Let's do this quickly. Let me shut out again, huh? Hmm. Bummer. Not a good pack there. Is that Matt? Oh, got a nasty cut up here on the upper left, even if that was a rookie card. Which it may have been. Looks like it. And now on to the dessert wines. These are the ones I'm excited about. The ones you've stuck around for. 90 Leaf, and we're going to head on over to 93 Tops. And pull a matching Jeter there out of this old school wax. Really appreciate Mark throwing in the 93 tops. I remember having a proper conversation with him on Facebook about what to include. And I kept pushing for it. And I was like, I will buy this if you have the 93 tops. And he did it. 
Hope you're looking for the Frank Thomas in these. It's a Dave Winfield, another Hall of Famer. Hmm. Not looking good on that one. Okay, the one and only Derek Jeta. Last pack of the junk trunk. I'm really curious what Mark's gonna be throwing in this for the next round. Haven't heard anything just yet. Try to flip these around. There's our gold of Tim Wakefield. That might be a rookie card. We're going to put that one to the side. There's a Roger Clemens, and I'm already seeing the draft pick card is going to be Sean Lowe and not Derek Jeter. All right. Sean Rodriguez. Oh, I didn't get two of them in the pack. Oh, that is sick. We got to drop the bomb. Oh, that is so sweet. Who's on the back? Oh my God, Stove Sports is going to be super pumped. I don't know if this is the first one that's been pulled or what, but oh man, I have a little ding up in the corner there. No. Well, <laughs> try to flatten that out. Is that even possible? Let's take a look at the back. That is nice. That's one of my biggest pulls I've had in a long time from a pack. So definitely made it worth it to uh, pick this up from the Stove Man. Thanks, buddy. Really love my uh, junk trunk now. We'll give you some good advertisement here. Hold that out here a little longer. Derek Jeter coming out of $15 box. Oh, this corner is driving me insane. There she is. So, I don't know if I'll be getting this one graded, but centering is, is really on point there. Looks nice. Before I get into those archives packs, let's just do a little recap of what we pulled out for $15. That's a pretty nice stack of cards. and Most of these are Hall of Famers. Pudgy. Roger Clemens, who may be in there someday. I think that's a Tim Wakefield rookie, if not close to it. Dave Winfield. Bo Jackson. Nolan Ryan, of course. Carlton Fisk. Bonds. Love this card. Besides the Jeter, this was my second favorite pull. Nice score. The Hawk. Double Fisk. Strawberry. Glavin. McGuire. Another bow. Jack Morris. And the one that made it all worth it once again. And now for a little bonus time in the video. We're going with 2019 Archives. I've got a PSA order going out and I still need maybe another card or two to fill that out. So we're chasing one of those hot rookies. There's a nice auto in these, two autos in per box. Gregory Polanco, Matt Duffy, Fernando Tatis Jr. Hit that button. Oh, yes. Well, that made it worth it. There's a bags, 75 design. Deki Matsui, Dakota Hudson, having a great year. Francisco Lindor, and look at that old school uh, photo there, Warren Spawn, beautiful. Two more packs to go, I'd say this has been a success. Sorry for whining in the beginning about only breaking things and you, I didn't hit anything good in a while. I think that was another reason I was upset about it. Yadi Molina. Kevin Biggio rookie card. Tony Gwynn, rest in peace. Andy Pitts. Tops. What's this insert, I guess? So Barry Larkin. Barry Larkins. Joe Morgan. Kyle Wright rookie. And a Jeff McNeil rookie card. All right, last pack of the video. See if we can get lucky and pull an auto. It's another Kyle Wright rookie card. Johnny Bench. Jim Tomei. He's a 58 design. There's a Juan Soto 75. That is gorgeous. Tim Anderson. 
And then Archives, uh, Ichiro from Tops. This is uh, interesting. Oh, it's a reprint. Gotcha. Corey Seager, Corey Seager, Corey Seager. And to round it out, Brandon Crawford. All right, let's recap those archives. Since Filmington wouldn't put it in his rookie card explosion box, I had to go out and get my own cards. And that's fine, because I'm happy with what I ended up with. Ron Soto, second year from 90, or 75 design. It was a Kevin Biggio rookie card. Jeff McNeil. And the hit out of the three packs, the Tatis Jr. This one's most likely off for grading. I just have to do this before I uh, sign off the video. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, is that pretty? Derek Jeta. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be involved in more card rips in the near future or some adventures long term because we're going to get back out there on the road and get back into a card shop somewhere. So appreciate the love and support. We'll see you at the next video. Signing off for now. Bowman 1951 out.